Okay guys, I wanted to share this with you today. This is a whole bunch of wire that I got out of some automotive wire harnesses over the last couple of years. I got quite a lot. Um, I didn't weigh it, but there's quite a few pounds here. But this stuff is so thin gauged that there's actually more plastic than there is copper in them. And it is a nightmare to actually try to strip this down and turn it into something meltable. You can put it in a crucible just like this, but it yields at least half as much half ash, half copper. And it's a pain to just get it all out. So this is how I strip this wire, easily and efficiently. Put it in a cardboard box. And then I put them in a someplace safe. In this case, it's an actually an old charcoal grill. And then what we do, We let it on fire. Put a few pieces of paper down underneath it just to make sure the fire can keep going pretty easily. And when the fire burns itself out, most of the plastic coating will be gone or very brittle ash and we can knock it off. This still will be a little bit, but this is a whole lot easier. All you have to do is let the fire do the work for you. All right, I'll bring you back once this is done. I might give you a quick little update when it gets going good, and then I will uh, we'll melt it down and turn it into some bricks. And just so you know, it's only been about 60 seconds. It's not gonna take long. All right, I'm gonna show you this again, guys, but I will say I'm gonna be holding my breath when I open this thing up because it's not enjoyable. So I'll be quiet for a second and let y'all see what's going on in here, but we're almost ready. Yep. And the copper and the plastic does make some pretty colors in there too in the flames. So I do like that. But yeah, it won't be too much longer. You can tell everything on there is pretty much ash and copper. So that's what we're looking for. Last step. Tap them. Ash comes off. Copper's left behind. Easy stuff. So there'll be some ash, ash left in our crucibles, but overall, ready to go. Well guys, this definitely does look like a hot mess, but there is definitely a whole lot less plastic coating on these. And the little tap, they do come off very cleanly. This is about two days later, because I did douse them with water to uh, make sure the fire didn't do anything I didn't want to when I wasn't looking at it. But uh, we're ready to melt. So I'm gonna get all that set up. And uh, just remember, I do use a respirator, so I won't be talking during any of the melting processes. But I did want you to see what we got going on here, and I'll show you what we do with it, and show you what it turns out to be. All right, I'll get started on that, and I'll set the video up and get us started.
Okay guys, I figured I'd give you a little bit of an update. I stopped filming every bar because it would take absolutely forever. Um, but right now we've already developed seven. Um, these are usually between a pound and a half and two pounds each. So we're easily looking at about 12 to 15 pounds of copper here already. I've got more still going in here, which I turned off just long enough to talk to you. And I've still got a few more bars there as well still to melt. So we're looking at a pretty good haul today and I will uh, bring you back in. This is our for the last one. Okay guys, I got the last of the copper poured for us, and I was just going to share them with you now. Out of those two boxes of copper wire, we have 10 total ingots, all of which are really nice. This one's a little smaller than the rest, but still not too bad. We had a couple that had some really nice pours to them. Um, this one, the back of it is almost smooth for a pour. There's no real pock marks or anything. This one, if I wanted to, I could sand it all the way down to almost a mirror finish. It wouldn't have hardly any blemishes at all. It, so that one might, we might do some more work on that one later. And I think this one was along the same lines. Has a little bit of a poor line in the middle here, but really good shape. That being said, I think I misquoted earlier um, about the weight of these. I think I was off by a little bit. Um, so I went ahead and brought the scale out. And uh, average weight for these bars is about a pound one pound and just a one pound and a half an ounce on that one 1.1 pounds uh, one pound four ounces yes yeah, so we're all looking at about a pound each not two another 1.1 that one's just under a pound about 14 ounces That one's almost exactly a pound. That one is 0.15 away from a pound. So, so we're looking at most of these are the pounds are just over 15 ounce, 1.1 pounds. So if we're averaging a pound each, we've got about 10 pounds here. Probably just under, if I do the math in my head correctly. So. We'll call it nine and a half pounds of copper out of those two boxes of wire. All of them are extremely pretty, and I do love the color. The color of copper, I'd rather have, as far as color goes, I like that better than gold or silver. It's just, there's more depth to it to me. And that being said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below.